I hate bugs. That's why I'm going to play a game that's full of bugs. Woo! Grounded. I've been looking forward to this for a while, actually. <clears throat> you should know, because I, I've actually talked about it, like, at various points over the past, like, entire year or so. Like, I keep waiting for Grounded to come out, because I quite liked what I played of it when it was in Early Access. Uh, I didn't play that much of it in Early Access, mind you. I, like, I, I, I subscribed to Game Pass for one pound for, like, one month, and this is one of the things I tried. And I was like, this is pretty good. I can't really, I, I was like, this, you know, this is pretty fun. I, I appreciate its aesthetic. I, I would like to play it when it actually has content. Because <laughs> when I played it, there wasn't really much of a story mode. You know, it's just sort of like a sandbox that you could do things in. And you couldn't do that much in it, but you could do stuff. You know, what was there was fun. It's just there wasn't much of it there. <laughs> so uh, I have bided my time and waited until the full game Grounded! I'm still wearing my Yume Niki sweater. It's still cold in the UK, shockingly. Grounded! A game about being shrunk down to the size of approximately this ant. You can't see my cursor. I'm circling the ant on the... whatever. Xbox network lo in order to access online multiplayer, you must log into an Xbox network account. Single player mode can still be... I actually do have an Xbox account, so I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it kind of does. Anyway, I'm going to ignore that. Yes, accessibility. This game... When I first booted this up to make sure it, like, worked, uh, this game made... gave you two warnings about the arachnophobia safe mode. So this is what it looks like in normal. Like, they're, they're pretty cartoony spiders, but make no mistake, they, they, they'll fuck you up when they start moving. You can make him... less legs? No legs? No fangs. Bob. Bobia. The problem is, is that this actually start like, with the lack of legs actually starts making it kind of hard to tell what the range of these things are, because they kind of hit with them. We're gonna rock with none, because fuck you. The only accessibility setting I'm, uh, I'm using for this is one that puts a background on the, on the subtitle box, because I don't get why games don't do that by default. It's just, it's just good subtitle design to put them on a background so you can read them. That's just, that's not, I, I wouldn't define that as accessibility, I just define that as good text contrast. But anyway, single player, new game, select your teen. Oh hey, we can scenario very, we can select mild, the yard is a more hostile environment, but stats are more forgiving and friendly fire is off. Recommended for first time visits to the yard. But it defaults to medium. Moderate stress level. Manage thirst, hunger, health, and stamina while you fight to survive. Whoa! The most punishing way to live the tiny life. Bugs are tougher. Vitals are harder to keep filled and everything breaks faster. That sounds annoying. Zero stress. Craft and explore with no resource management or existential threats. Creative with bugs. Insects will be present but not aggressive towards players. Huh. Custom. Custom. All recipes unlocked and free. Oh, you can, like, create, yeah, create your own difficulty. If you like. See, now I'm torn. Do I play, like, it defaulted to medium, but then I read mild and it suggests recommended for first time visits to the garden. Eh? I t I, when, when a game says recommended for first time players, I kind of, like, take the game's word for it. Hey, nice to meet you. The name's Matt. Ah, oh, we can small. we can choose our character. Maxwell Small. I didn't know they were gonna start talking. Hey, I'm Willow. Willow Branch. Willow Branch. My name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. That is all you have to say for yourself. Hoops. Alley hoop. <laughs> Ready for hoops here. Ready to mix it up? Do you like role playing games? No reason to stand around. Okay, Hoops is easily the coolest person in the room. We're going with Hoops. Yard world name. Why do I gotta choose a name? Incredible. Radical. D who names their fucking yard? It's Britain. There's no fucking yards in Britain. My yard is concrete. Hoops word. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go with the first thing someone someone wrote in, which is Albuquerque, which I'm not even sure if that's spelled correctly.
I don't I don't think that's even spelled correctly, but I'm stealing it. October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, Please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, Optimus Practical Technology signs a new deal with... Dun 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 This game didn't used to have an opening cutscene. It's truly a complete game now. A game by Obsidian. Yes, that. How many people know that this game is made by Obsidian? You know, like the Fallout New Vegas guys, and the 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 Outer Worlds guys, and you know, like everything else Obsidian does, because Obsidian has done a fuck ton of things, actually. You can actually, you can actually really feel that it's an Obsidian game as as soon as you get to the user interface. You can really tell who made it. Like, conceptually, it's quite different, but I assure you, as soon as you get to the user interface, you're going to go, ah. Hey, portable head. So, hi, everyone. I, I never say hi. I never say hi to my chat. Like, why do I? Oh, hello. I've I've woken up. Hi, chat. Can't remember what happened. Hey, where am I? What the heck is this place? Everything seems so big. Holy shit! You can see your legs. Whoa. Best game. Really, really Whoa. Yo, a tutorial. <laughs> the early access didn't have one of these. It just kind of dropped you in and expected you to work it out. Does that weevil have asthma? Can insects get asthma? Nab. Whoa, where are you headed, Anne? The ant regards you with curiosity, but not hostility. Detected. Buzzer. Whoa. What was that? Some sort of signal? Maybe it's coming from nearby. This is getting real. You got this, Hoops. Collecting all manner of nonsense. This is this is a survival crafty game after all, so you gotta grab just stuff. Like, I got a rock. Slurp nasty water. Probably a bad idea. Safety test power filtrations with an acceptable range. The machine itself installs pylons are a finicky trade. Maintaining the beam angles requires regular obstruction removal. The yard is simply too alive for precision instruments. Check in beginning cell dials before end of day protocols. Okay. I'm guessing this isn't the only one of these science pods. I should keep searching and see what else I can turn up. I'm analyzing my sprig. <laughs> Raw science! I've deciphered recipes. 
My brain power is increasing. Crude rope, fiber bandage, plant slurry. Gross. Hmm. Should have analyzed my fucking rock, mate. Oh, granola bar. In fact, it specifically told me to analyze a, a pebblet, and I just kind of, like, didn't. Damn. Next charge is in fucking eight minutes or something. Oh, I see. It's You can, like, attack with it. Can't imagine it's actually a very good weapon, though. Mysterious machine. Can't believe there's a stream going on with spiders in it. We haven't encountered any spiders yet. <laughs> Ooh, light Joe. Aw, it didn't work. Looks like one laser is blocked and the other is shorted out. Time to get fixing. Find what's weakening one of the lasers. Look. That's a quick little fella. <laughs> Kind of cute, too. That's a fucking bee-like. Oh. Third-person camera. I didn't know this was an option. Fuck this rock. Attracted to all the shinies on various things. Find and eat some food. Okay, just eat this mushroom off the floor. I'm not sure that did anything for me. Slurp the nasty water. Put a puncho label on it and kids would probably drink this up. Call it swamp cooler. Find clean water. No can do, buddy. Only gross water for this streamer. How do you act? Inventory. See, see what I said? You get to the inventory, you can really tell Obsidian made it. Because, like, look at this shit. Crude rope. Spiky sprig. I need thistle needle and two crude ropes. I made fiber bandage. Dry grass chunk for a roasting spit. So I can make cooking. I can make cooking. But I need thistle needle, crude rope. Ho oh, hum. Ah. Oh, missed the jump. What 
is... Because I can't do anything about the laser that's blocked until I can, like, cut down this... this chunk of grass, and to do that I need an axe. Ah, craft a pebbler axe. I think that's why it wanted me to do that. Problem is that I didn't analyze the fucking pebblet because I'm bad. So what's weakening the laser then? Like, the problem would surely exist here, right? Looks like this to me. So when the knobs just say science, it, yeah, seems to. Ah yes, they set science to off when it should have been set to on. Obviously. Oh, good. Mm, brain power! Mm, brain power! Clover poncho, clover hood, clover shin guards. I can make an eye patch, for what reason? Analyzing rock. Yep, it's a rock. Plant lamp, workbench, sap, sconce, and a torch. All of those sound perfectly good to me. I can make with this stuff? No. Now I have an axe. A crude one, but an axe. Is it okay to eat this crap? I have this granola bar. Hmm. Tried to time a perfect block, huh? Clover. Eh. <laughs> the under the hand granola bar grip. Like this. My first impressions of 1.0 so far is that, uh, so far, I haven't actually got out of what I've, I saw when I played the game before it came out. Like, this was all here. I'm gonna fucking hack this shit down, though. Huh. I can, actually. I can just, like, straight up place a workbench down. 
Because I can't, like, you can't, like, carry grass plonks, grass plonks with you. I'm just going to put it here. Location obstructed. Oh, I see. What's build and super build? What does that mean? There, now I can make more complicated things. Am I wearing it? It, it? it did not equip automatically. Put it on. There, I now have a head guard. I made it out of clovers. Unanalyzed. What the fuck? Raw science. Okay. Have we hollered yet? I haven't encountered a bug bigger than the size of my foot yet, so no. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking idiot. Ooh, aphid honeydew. You can just eat that. So then look at this guy. Stupid. Right, I guess we should approach the big tower. Find out what's wrong with the laser beam. I have a spear. A mighty hunter. Dry grass chunk. That's cool. I can do stuff with that. I've already lost the way of the tower. Oh, hang on. Clean water. It hangs off the branches like dew. Hydration is the key to performance. Slurp. I already lost the fucking... It's over there. During the early access. Uh... That dude. There's a stink bug over there. I don't want to fuck with the stink bug. There was like... Uh... Aphids, ants, and a wolf spider, I think. So, like, not very many. There are, well, there's at least two kinds of spider, both equally as horrible. Come on, reindeer nose. Want a piece of this? Oh, yeah, also, uh, weevils. These are, well, not a weevil. Whatever the, what are these things? Either way, they can go fuck themselves. Lawn mites. Shitters. Block. The key to combat is to block. Get off that shit. I don't really want to, like, go in the dark place. You know, it seems bad. Can I make a torch? I need more dry grass chunk. You need torch to go in dark place. There's many dry grass around here, actually. And I guess you don't need torch to go in dark place. I'd just much rather have torch for dark place, you know? It's more, more my style. Ugh. 
has had worse, I guess. You really want to go gallivanting through here in the dark? The dark areas of this game are fucking terrifying because they're full of bugs. Damn, this little dude's kicking my ass. Nice, perfect block, perfect block. Shit, Captain. Bam. Alley hoop. Bring in the light. That bandage did not do much for me. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the bandages uh the bandages don't heal very much, huh? You gotta get the perfect block. The perfect block negates the damage entirely. It is the key to combat. I don't wanna like build a bed yet though. I wanna like solve the problem. Ah, oh, there's a fucking ant in here. Don't do that! Cool rocks. Okay. We got it. We have solved the problem. Seems like my health is regenerating over time too, actually. Why is it pointing me towards this? Okay, you can put the torch away now. Seems to have a heal over time effect, or so the UI claimed. Oh, that would make sense, actually. Husky weed. <laughs> I need a higher tier tool. I need a diamond pickaxe. I mean, whatever. Investigate the oak tree explosion. We made everything go boom.
equip the poncho. You have daisies? Probably. I'm doing science. Arrow, mite hat, stuffed mite, fuzz on the rocks. I think slime molds can just be turned into torches, like at will. Drinking this disgusting combination somehow makes you healthier for a while. It needs clay, though. They told me to build a lean, too. Invalid surface. Caution, you'll wake up in the dark. Look at how much health it's got. Don't fuck with that guy. Different bugs do become... Oh, I've, I've discovered Tropicop Poncho. New nickname just dropped. I am Puncho. Man of punch. And oh. It's difficult to hunt aphids. That's a, like a. What is this? Shell. What's inside the shell? Doesn't seem like you can go in it though. Spider. <gasps> Multiple spiders. This is the bad place to be. Spiders most active at night IRL. Honestly, I don't know. They're not exactly inactive during the day, mind you. All I know is that it is dark, and I don't feel like fucking with spiders when it's dark. It's not exactly well advised when it's light, honestly. Oh, apparently I can't sleep until... Huh, you can't just sleep to advance time quickly like that. How much health does a ladybug have? A lot. What's with the glowing pink shit? Can I get extra credit for this? It's 
just raw science. This science is fucking raw! How's the game so far? We've kind of barely begun, really. We are about to head, uh, screaming and yelling into spider territory. Armor protection, engage. That is why I'm armoring the fuck up. Uh, whoa. Oh. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all of Ominent. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first steps into the miniature world. The sights are unbelievable. The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. Even common lawn grass looks like a structure from an alien world. Wait, what's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. I am experiencing dehydration in game, not IRL. I guess I could just consume like every single mushroom. Having a good time, are we? Look, it's a bug, get it? <laughs> oh? Oh, they're scrapping! Why are they scrapping? You killed that guy! I got his nose, though. Fine, I've become hydrated. What's your fucking problem? Is sap edible? No. It's a ruthless killer. Ladybugs don't attack me. We're cool. We have an understanding. The ants are okay. Now, I'm now fully hydrated. The ants are scrapping again with weevils, I guess. Whatever's rumbling down there, I'm gonna stomp on it. Whatever's rumbling down there, I don't want any fucking part of that.
I expect the bug world fills me with trepidation. This fucking game. Need a hammer for that. Can I make a hammer? I might need a workbench for that. No, I can just make one on the spot. I just need rope. Hiya! Acorn bits. Food. You can eat those. <laughs> that wasn't what I was thinking, but that totally works, doesn't it? <laughs> Aren't acorns poisonous? I don't think so, somehow. What's with the funny glowy bit? Sap clump. Bust. Hwa! Hwa! Hya! Yay! Huh! This is the strongest clump in human fucking history. There's some sort of radar thing going on in the bottom left. I'm not really sure what it's tracking exactly. Can I get inside one of these cans and just live in there for a bit? Oh, I totally can and all. Yes! My parents never let me have soda. This is my base of operations. I'm building a lean-to in here. I'm gonna live inside a fucking soda can! Ah, oh, come on! What do you mean, invalid surface? Boo! Too steep? Says who? Super build. You are a teenager who has been shrunken down for some unknown reason by some unknown individual. Yeah, I like this location. We live we live near a can and by the waterside. It's very scenic actually. But okay, we need to investigate the explosion. As much as I want to just keep smashing acorns open. Be cool, dude. Be cool. Which yellings have occurred? I encountered a spider exactly once, but I saw it from a very far away, so I pieced out. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. Oh, sweet. 
Storage chest, acorn shovel, water container, grinder. There we go, that sounds good. Please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SMPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. Red ant. Oh, I gotta the kill ants to get those. To health code standards governing the handling of raw food mm, items. What a pain. Raw aphid meat is also necessary for boost juice. Is this like better in terms of plus threat generation? Oh, it makes the enemies more aggressive. But it's heavy armor, so it's better. Like, significantly so, actually. Hmm. Things will want to kill you more while you're wearing the, uh... The better armor. Funny, that. What if I just want to want to keep it cool? Yoink, 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 yoink. All things are mine. They are all mine. Mine, mine, mine. Hedge warning hostile presence detected. Watch out, the hedge. Oh, the hedge. Son, the hedge. Help, please. Nob. Right, get no hang on. Sorry, there's like science over here. Whoa! Science in the house. I've got you, don't worry. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -b 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this, this game. Does have multiplayer? I am yes. Also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I am sure this all must be very disorient. I suspect you were miniaturized by Doctor Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. I'm still very tired. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my- Whoops. Sorry, I'll tap the game. are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Right. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, well, that's convenient. will return in time. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. He's dead. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. How do I get home? To your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. So that's our goal. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. Well, fuck. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! 
Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I <laughs> Arg. Sorry. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair these facers. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Potato and fr- Auxiliary chips oh. are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Time to explore the yard. Woo! Now we're getting somewhere. No, he sucks. Code 630 cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of uh, for research on arachnid webbing. Why? You will find the Hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the Hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Why did you build a lab in the middle of a spider hedge? Fuck you. Fuck everything. Ah! Nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the... Uh... <laughs> Spider Hedge! This sucks! Once you are registered... You will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Oh, you have arachnophobia? I do. <laughs> I hate spiders a lot. So then why are you playing this game, Punchy? That's the whole point! Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those ch chips And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! Alright. That's all well and good. That was a bit of an info dump, but it's not that bad. Smithing station, workstation used to upgrade weapons using various materials, cooking 101. Like I've already done one of these, like the Clover Shin Guards, I've already got it. Equip yourself with Clover Shin Guards. I've already got Clover Shin Guards. I did it already. Does that count? It is nice. How can I help you today? Ask, do you want my advice on how to get home? How can I help you? Thank you. Hmm. Oh, okay. I want me to craft them specifically. You never peg me as particularly giving a fuck about spiders. I hate spiders a lot. I do not like bugs in general. That is why I am playing the survival game about bugs. 
because that sounded funny to me. This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules, another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Arminant has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. It's like a whole lake around here. Can we swim? I don't want to test that right now. Like, I think so, but... Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting aphids. Yeah! Hora! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Fuck me, they're fast. You win this round. workbench, I think. I can't any grass planks. GCB, thanks for the 69 bits. Yeah, the, the aphids win this round. Some inventory noise? Yeah, that's my bit alert. might make them more aggressive, but it will make me die less. Can I make a storage chest? Ooh. Cookery, grinder, sap catcher. Storage chest. Handy for storing stacks of this silly junk.
What is a super? Builds builds everything all at once. A simple table. I don't need tables. That's not how I play these games. Might loaf. Satisfying enough to be considered a meal. I want to hunt fucking aphids, but they're like too fast. Look at them go. Got him. It's fucking dark, like. I need more plant. I need way more plant fibers. The the rope economy relies on it. Spear is throw, but then I don't have spear anymore. Jesus, fuck, they're fast. Oh, and there's multiple of them. No, fuck this, I'm out. Hate these things. Hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. There's flying buggers, too. They're not so big, though. Those ones aren't so big, at least. Isn't that where I need to go? Is there like a way to check the map? Where did they say the hedge was? I mean, the hedge is full of fucking spiders. Holy shit, this map is huge. <laughs> I'm faced with the classic dilemma of survival games right now, which is that I would like to start making a move towards yonder point, but it's getting fucking dark. I think moving towards the spider hedge in the dark is like probably the worst idea, actually. Maybe the worst idea. Can I get me? No, I don't have enough clover leaves for it. Can get me some leggings, though. Armor protection, engage. I'm making myself more threatening. But with any luck, I will be more protected when they do regress. They're like orb weavers, what's the worst that can happen? They kill you! And then you die! Hmm. 
bed. You know, 4 a.m.'s not so dark, really. It's like practically, uh... It's uh, practically twilight, actually. You know, this is perfectly fine. No, this is dark as fuck. I can't see anything. That helps, like, a little. <laughs> Not much, though. Too awake to sleep. What if anybody more like clovers? Can't hack down the husky weeds. It's getting lighter now. I'm trying to ascertain what direction to move in. Because I, I think we want to go over there. Should put a waypoint on it, I guess. And head in that direction and see 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 where we go from here. occurring over there, like. You gotta see, that's what you gotta be worried about when the big movements start occurring over there, because, like, what is that shit? That's a stink bug. I think I can get on by that. They're having a... Whoa. 
No 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 They're aggressive. They're aggressive on sight. Okay, uh... Two at once, I think, is a bit above my pay grade. Also, they're fast, too. Fuck. Eat it, punk. Like, what is your deal? What is your fucking deal, man? Hi, Pinky Dinky Doo. There's like two of them over there, and they're both kind of scary, and I don't want to be near them. fuck is that? Getting stuck on plants. What the fuck are those? What do you think those are? They don't look nice. Hmm, a stone wall impedes the way. Uh, nande. <laughs> What's with the part of the, the map that has, like, light surrounding it? this to your heart's content. Oh boy, spider webs. a mosquito. What was that noise? 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 <laughs> what was that noise? That's terrifying. I hate this fucking game. I hate this game. That's horrible. Don't do that. That's a mosquito. Please do not attack me. That would be very rude. That's a bird! I disagree! <laughs> Eros, thanks for gifting a sub to Arachnophobia. Thank you very much. That's cool. Hope the bird's okay with me existing. Hey, I found the lab. I think. Locked. Why? I 
I guess this is the wrong lab. I thought this was the hedge lab. Oh god, I just set my save point near where spiders are. <laughs> They're huge and terrifying! Peep a creature, what does that mean? <laughs> I hate it so much! Go away! Yeah! Alright, alright, alright. Wait, did it fire a projectile at me? Is that what it does? So how do I proceed from here? You know? There's two of them too, like, maybe if there was only one I might try and give this a go, but like, two is... Two is bad news. Ah! Ah! It changes your viewpoint to third person when that happens. Sorry, what is this? I peeped a creature. Reveals creature weaknesses and resistances. I see. Found in the data tab inside your menu. Let's look at some data. It's weak to spicy. It's resistant to stabbing. Well, that's unfortunate, because that's kind of my only real means of attack here right now. I was about to say, is there perhaps another way around this? The answer is yes, through a different spider. Oh, is a berry chunk not edible? This is the right way to go, but like, how the fuck do you go about this? I'm pretty sure I'm in the right ballpark, but like, how do you even approach this situation? I'm also thirsty. How do I deal with that? completely sure how to deal with my first problem, other than just happening onto random, like, water droplets as I run about the place. And despite this place being a fucking pond, it doesn't seem like there's much to go around. Sun, the hedge. Yes, I stand on the precipice of Spider Hedge right now. Go 
god, they're fucking everywhere. This is the worst video game that mankind has ever created. Like, look at this shit. How do you approach this situation? All right, you there, fight me. Okay, I do like no damage. That is not going anywhere. Right, we have tested the waters of spider combat. That is not an option. Realistically, I don't do any damage. So what can be done about it? Is it really just a case of I just need to barrel through spider territory with while just screaming my head off and going, please don't kill me? I don't have infinite stamina either, so that's like a worrying proposition. Also, I'm like, like, dying of thirst right now. I slurped gross water. I took the trade off. Weak to spicy, which we can assume means fire. Can we assume that, though? I mean, I guess so, but, like, I don't have... How do I... Does that mean they won't attack me if I'm holding a torch? Somehow I doubt that. Test that theory. Hey, dickhead! You hit them with the torch? No. Nah, uh, he just walked away from me. Right, fuck it. In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, no, maybe not while the big one is right there. Well, okay, there's always big ones right there. That's the thing. It's just full of big ones. Right. In for a penny, in for a pound. Ah! I hate this. I hate this so much. Science. Fuck off. Ah! Fuck. From where? From whence? Ah! It's hitting me through the floor. That's not very nice. Shit, jump failed. Faster than you, bitch. Don't know what this does. Look out! What? Attacking! Sorry, what's attacking? What have I just done?
No! Yeah. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is or what it does. Okay, I want to get to... Where's my waypoint icon? It's, like, missing. It's, like, over there. This doesn't... I need to get over there. I thought this was the right place to be, but it might not be. Oh? A hole. Oh, a hole. Oh, that's grim, man. This is a better melee weapon than what I'm currently using. I guess so. Can't waste food. Can't waste food. Can't waste food. Was... Why does it make that noise sometimes? Why is there just a sudden boom? I think it's a bird landing. Okay, maybe don't get near that, because that thing is huge and will fuck you up. That I can use that on the spider, seeing as they're weak to stab and not smash? Well, that's a great idea, but I also don't really want to be here any longer. This just isn't the place. No, this isn't the place. I braved spider territory and screamed about it, but thats it's still not the right place to be. Like, I want to be in here, but door locked. And I'm not sure how I get around this. I thought it would be like I'd go up and around, you, you know? But, like, that doesn't seem to be right. Hmm. Oh, I could have made something out of my acorn bits. Fucking bird. I need to get around this wall somehow. The hows of this remain a bit elusive. Particularly because the fucking thing is covered in goddamn spiders! Maybe we'll try it the other way around. The mixer was the key. I don't know what it would have done, and I don't think I would have any reasonable chance of success at defending it right now anyway. Like, my equipment is just too weak for that shit right now. What is that? What are you? What are you? Are you aggressive? I hope not.
Lingus is. That beetle looks like it's packing. Oh yeah, they're aggressive, all right. Whoa. Look, pal, be sweet with me and I'll be sweet with you. It's that simple. They are in fact not going to be sweet with me. Oh fuck, this is a dead end. Everything wants me dead. Okay, uh, there's like, you can kind of cut through there. This whole navigating the wall thing is complicated for me. Like, I think I want to bust through there, but A, there's a huge spider in the way. And there's also a web. I need to cut it down. And how am I supposed to do that without getting ganked? What, now a mosquito is mad at me? Come on, dude. Back to lawn mite asshole territory. Ow, I'm running in. These are the most persistent enemies in the game, which is funny because they're weak as fuck. They're like the only thing I can consistently kill. Wait, I've, I've somehow ended up back more or less where my base is. But I want to be over there. How do you get there? That tastes really good. All right, all right, all right. God, even the small ones are bastards. Right, how about this club? That's a little better. Fuck. No, it's gonna kill me. I think I'm dead. I think I'm gonna die of poison. No! No! Ah! God, even the small ones are fucking... You died! You are dying! Ah! Quit and super quit. For, for, for when you want to quit, but in like an aggressive way. What does super quit mean? Super quit shuts down your PC. God, it fucking poisoned me and everything, dude. Feeling How do you get to the hedge? Is that even the head? It looks very hedge-like to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
everything in this game hits really hard. They're like, all the enemies are like terrifying. With the exception of these dudes. They're kind of weak. Fucking Orb Weaver Jr. over here, ruining my life. That was a pretty cool maneuver, if I do say so myself. I also may have shit myself while doing it. Are we still chasing? I'm stuck in grass! Ah! I don't want to touch grass anymore! Oh, look, grass. Why are you still chasing me? Fuck off! No! done about this I mean more defense wouldn't go amiss Can you craft a bug spray? Somehow I feel like that would make the game too easy. Actually, can you put the torch away? Because I didn't, I didn't actually want you to equip that. What is this, by the way? Milk molar requires a busting tool. Is this not a busting tool? Requires a higher tier tool. I need better tools. Her name is Ali Hoops. I think it's a nickname. Kind of like a thing where you could you near know, a science station. I feel like I need to discover more recipes. Brain power level two. Does this unlock stuff that will ah red on arm? Oh, oh, and a bow. The bow is actually probably very handy. Berry chair, hedge lord, and berry leather. Yeah, that feels like a next port of call is to try and craft a red ant stuff, I guess, because it will make us stronger and therefore more able to not get our shit immediately ruined by anything larger than a fucking weevil. Because right now we just don't do any damage to those fucking things, and they do all the damage to us. Actually, apparently it's light armor. 
Maybe it's not that good. I kind of assumed it would be stronger, but it doesn't actually seem to be. It does increase your hauling strength, though, whatever the hell that is. My inventory is just full of just crap. I keep picking up lots of crap. Getting the bow is probably a good idea, though. Neat. Requires smoothie station. God damn it. I feel like everything good needs other things. Grub sludge. Need a shovel for that. Fine, maybe I'll just make the shovel, except I can't, because I need plant fiber. Like, fine, maybe I'll just make your damn shovel. I need to pee. Bow may lead to fire arrows or something, which because the key to fighting Spood could be. Could be. Why is mo only mode on? What the fuck? Give up. What does give up do? Oh, I can change the uh, the difficulty at any time if I feel like it. Pet invincibility? You can get pets in this game? Toggle this off to enable god mode. Quest and objective will be enabled. Equipment durability, food, spoiling. Menus, pause the game. Gross. Suddenly I collected a lot of things. Grub sludge and their grub hide. Then I can make. something. If I had a smoothie station, I could make this. 
But I can't. Need more grub sludge. Today you've learned few people have bug emotes. I mean, why would they? Bugs are gross. Bugs are nasty and awful. No one should like them. Alright, can I examine more things to unlock more crafting recipes and shit like that? Has the charges come back yet? Time seems to advance pretty fast in this game. Well, some of it has anyway. What can be done with the grub hide? Grub leggings, grub goggles, grub vest, canteen. Canteen sounds good. I've got grub sludge then. None. <laughs> Fuck. We need to kill four gnats as part of some other quest, but like... I, I don't think I've even seen a gnat so far. runs away. It's like so non-hostile that it flees. I am the apex predator around here. like a bully. This is the part of the game known as the inventory shuffle. Okay, well we can't really do anything with the raw meat, so I'm just gonna sort of like dump it. Okay, canteen sounds great, actually. Grub goggles. They are medium armor. Increase your max stamina. I'm kind of into the whole uh, not dying thing, so so far I think I'm good with my acorn stuff. Because everything this game does so much fucking damage, it's unreal. Canteen. Three grub hides and two crude rope. Carry two scoops of liquid to transfer to storage or slurp. That sounds extremely useful. Let us target that. Need to find grubs, though. I don't want no grubs. Where are the grubs, though? I actually do want grubs. What's with the light breaking through? For them? Yeah, but you have to like find one. Hydration is the key to performance. Like that's gotta be the hedge. Yeah, like I'm looking at it. That's the hedge. Sun, the hedge. But uh I can't 
can't get over there. I never even really found a way in, let alone a way without, like, getting killed. Too much shit in the way. Where are the- fuck, I need one more grub and make myself a canteen and it'd be super helpful. Having two- two slurps to go around. I heard it. You know, I heard it, but seeing it is a different question. I don't think anyone has done an over the hedge joke yet, no. And that's because over the hedge is TRASH! There, I have a canteen now. Where does it... and what part of the menu does it reside? <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the streamer. The streamer was already small to begin with! How much smaller can he get? How much smaller can he get? Oh no! Ah! I'm like crouching under the desk. This is like, yeah, like it's, I'm not even really all the way off camera. Good joke, streamer. All right, what the fuck am I doing? Find a gnat. That's what I want to do. You want to get a bow? Get a bow. Get some arrows. Start shooting things. Are you a gnat? Are those things gnats? Those are gnats. How the fuck are they flying? Trying to survey my surroundings to get a better idea of what it is I should even be doing right now. Like, I think I want to go kill some gnats so I can make a bow, but the gnats are flying, meaning the easiest way to kill them would be to get a bow. <laughs> other resources to be gained in other directions in the yard. Presumably that must be true. Oh my god, there's another one. There's a fucking spider is the- Okay, that's all well and good, man, but there's a fucking spider right there. Oh shit. Well, at least I got the drink. I want to go in that field station, but there's a fucking spider there. Patrolling around, being all spider-like and shit. Am 
Why would you put a spider spawn point right near the thing I want to be in? You assholes. Alright, I'm going in. I'm in. The red ant club I have deduced a recipe for, which is good because that is the best weapon I've found so far. Spoiled meat slurry. Level three. Weevil shield. Four raw weevil meat. I don't understand what's with the illuminated bits of the map, by the way. Like, I'm not sure what that means, precisely. Right, let's just poke around more. Ugh. I've had worse, I guess. All right. Christ almighty, dude. Nothing takes any damage. Nothing takes any damage! I'm loading saves and not respawning because I don't like the concept of corpse running. Besides, what difference does it make? I just respawn over there anyway. Somehow I also get the impression I'm not going to be able to kill that. Don't kill the ladybug, but I probably will have to at some point. You know, if they drop useful bits, then I want the useful bits. Right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of at a loss for what to even do. Multi-story bases? I barely build bases as is. Oh. Didn't 
realize all this stuff was here. One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor, insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues. But, audentes fortuna what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. End recording. Burgle, I'd like to record some messages for my family, in case things do not go as planned. Yeah, right now, I'm actually at a bit of a loss for what to do, like, just in the game. Any place I'm supposed to go, I don't feel like I can go there right now, because everything there just, like, shanks me and kills me immediately. seem to have access to like anything stronger really could make a smoothie station Berry chunk, honeydew, acorn bits. Now, I made a smoothie. Cooked food is much better for you, who would have thought? Okay, I have good food now. You know, good for me. sure this solves my current problem. The problem being is that I feel really weak and can't kill anything. And everything I feel like I need to do is in locations full of things that immediately kill me. Like, I am, in truth, honestly not sure what to do right now. 
Well, I've already, like, outgrown the need for Clover Guard, so I'm just gonna let that one drop. But kill gnats is, like, where? How? The only gnats I've seen were flying, like, ten feet above the ground. solution was teamwork, but like, what kind of team? Like, what do you do? <laughs> I would like to do something. The question is just I'm not really sure what. I could fight these things. I don't really feel the need to, though. There's a fucking spider. And I just can't fight that. I just can't. It's not going to happen. Why not? The leveled maybe? This game doesn't have a level up system. I appear to be stuck inside of the grass. I mean, well, it kind of does have a level up system, but it doesn't like affect your stats. Wee. have a compass? No. Well, yes, but there it is. It's in the top right. There's another aphid. But I'm not sure what good that really does me. Oh, an idiot. There's a hole. I could go in the hole and presumably get killed by whatever's in there. If I'm supposed to have a better weapon from brain power, the game has not told me how to craft it. Book it past the bigger enemies? I tried to do that. I couldn't even figure out a way to go forward, let alone, like, a way to live for particularly long. figure for some cartoon I don't watch. Well, I found this, so good for me. Oh my fucking lord. Absolutely not. Did you see it? Because I saw it. That's not gonna go well. I've already, like, that's where the hedge is, right? But, like, I couldn't figure out a way to really successfully go over there. Like, this whole area is fucked. Ow. 
scope it. Chat needs to see. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Wolf spider. I peeped it. I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. That's going to kill me, like, super dead. Mmm, billy hogs. Ooh, rotten lava blade. Cool. Menus don't pause the game in single player. Okay, well, I very obviously can't take a fucking wolf spider in a fight. I was about to say, this thing should just be crawling with ants, right? Like, if there's, like, an apple here... And the dropped hot dog, this thing should just be full of bugs. where I started the game? Where did I start the game, actually? Stink bug. Look, gnats. I want to fight them so I can get their fuzz and make a bow. What the fuck are you? Okay, Groovy, but what even are you? And, of course, I don't do any damage to it at all. And, of course, it hits me once and it takes a third of my life off. What the fuck? You just can't fight anything in this fucking game, dude. This is starting to get frustrating. I just can't do anything. There's just no fights I can win that, like, accomplish anything. Noob. Not nicely. I'm tempted to turn the difficulty down because this is just like hard to point where I it doesn't feel even remotely balanced. Like, what am I supposed to do? Hard to point where I'm genuinely not sure what the intent is even supposed to be. 
everything just kills you. Is required? Yeah, but I, it doesn't matter. I don't do any damage. I could block every attack perfectly and it wouldn't matter because it takes about 5,000 swings for me to kill anything. Do you think it's bound to four people? I'm inclined to agree. I'm turning the difficulty down. I think this is, like, unreasonable. I just got killed from below the thing I was on. Yeah, this doesn't feel balanced for a single player. So I'm turning the difficulty down. Not that I feel like it's going to make a huge difference. Pebble. Superb autosave, by the way. This still doesn't solve my problem of, like, I'm not really sure what to do. Virgo also updated your map with the location data for the hedge super chip. I'm also going to turn on the option that pauses the fucking game when you're in the menu like it should be when you're playing a single player fucking game. Disable some achievements. But I want to turn on the... Some options cannot be changed. Why? Boo! Single player game should not have the menu keep going. Fucking stop that. It can't be changed. What? Why not? I, apparently I can't change that, so whoever said you could is lying, because it's just not letting me do it. Like, the option is there, but you can click it, and it says no. This action cannot be undone, but I can change the difficulty, but this one doesn't let you do it. Custom game. Why is that a custom fucking difficulty setting? That is the stupidest shit. Fuck this. This game might be bad, guys. Disagree. That's really fucking disappointing. Why do the menus not If you're gonna if you're gonna make a game that's meant for co-op, don't even let me play it single player. Don't even fucking bother. Just let me know I'm not welcome. Christ, dude. Being, yeah, it feels like it's balanced for multiple people because I just can't kill anything. Like, I can't win any fights. Everything kills you in, like, three hits. And they kill... And I, it takes, like, 10,000 for me to kill any of them. And also, menus don't pause the game, even if you're playing in single player. And it makes you, like, change the difficulty to, like, custom mode before it lets you do that and I don't know it's like it's dumb it's dumb it's fucking dumb I hate that why did they do it this way I feel like I've accomplished nothing for the past like three hours of gameplay that might be an exaggeration. More like two. Like, the start, there was stuff happening. I was getting used to the controls, crafting stuff, and now there's just nothing. Just nothing's been happening. Because I can't go anywhere, and I can't kill anything.
Like, I was thinking to try and kill some gnats, but the only gnats I've seen are, like, impossible to reach, because they're, they're flying. It's like, oh, you need a bow, but I need the gnat fuzz to craft the bow. So, like, what do you do? I don't know. I do not know. Have shit kill each other? Maybe. I don't know how to do that. Supposed to meadow guess all I pass things? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Ever recraft the shin guards? No. I don't think I need to. Like, I keep getting a quest icon for it, I know, but that's because, like, it's like a side quest thing. The only thing you get from it, apparently, is raw science, and, like, what good is that going to do me right now? Like, there's there seems to be some sort of upgrade underneath this, like, can, right? Hang on, let me find it. There's, like, a, there's a thing down here. This thing. Milk molar. Can't, though. Needs a higher tier tool. I would love to craft a higher tier tool, but I don't know how to get one. Are you seeing the pattern here? I would love to do thing. Don't know how to, though. Like, as is, this is the best equipment I've been able to get my hands on, and I feel like I've tried pretty hard at that. Again, menus don't pause the fucking game. Why? That's so bad. If I'm in single player, fuck off. There is a setting for that. I'm going to ban the next person who points that out. It doesn't work. They made it wrong. You are not allowed to use the setting they provided without some dumb other setting. I'm going to get killed in two hits. I tried to open the map to check my location. Fucking hell, dude. I can't do anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, it changed. Why does it keep changing everybody back to fucking medium? This sucks, dude. I can't play the game right now. Did it actually- did, this, did the difficulty setting actually take this time? Because this doesn't feel balanced for, like, single player. You can grind the raw science to get more upgrades. You need more stuff, is the thing. In order to get raw science to upgrade your brain power, you need more things. Right, I have changed the difficulty to mild. How much of a difference does that actually make? Stab. I pissed off the ant rather than the fucking spider. Makes a difference. That does make a decent difference at least. Yeah, okay, maybe mild is the setting. Oh god, the big one. That's a wolf spider. I am extremely dead. I'm, yeah, I mean, you can you can definitely engage a bit more with this, at least. Uh, I'm loading save, though. Like, if the wolf spider didn't show up, I might have actually been able to win that fight. So far, my assessment is that this game is not balanced at all for solo play. Damn it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I actually want to fight with a spider. Thus, my conclusion, don't play this game on uh, on anything other than easy if you're playing it solo. On on the on the next difficulty up, that guy would kill me in three hits. That's a pretty large fucking difference, guys. See, okay, see, I got confused immediately on difficulty select, because it did say mild is, is like, recommended for first-time visits to the garden, but it defaults to medium. So I was like, that, like, that mixed the signal. It's like... You know? Yeah, I would also infer that it scales the amount of players automatically, but it doesn't actually seem to do that. It seems to scale according to who the fuck knows what. I don't know, not a stellar first impression for that. The fact that I just sort of like, I spent like two hours unsure of what to even do. Because because when, when a thing kills you in three hits, I take that as a cue to fuck off and come back later. But everything was killing me in three hits. It's like, where do I go? What do I do? I tell you what, armor made out of spider bits has got to be good for something. I can make a basketball hoop, great. So there we go. Now that, like, the small spiders are, like, actually somewhat reasonable to fight, maybe we can start getting somewhere now. Maybe the key was to play on a difficulty level that actually makes sense. Like, I got baited by the game defaulting to medium. You shouldn't do that, apparently. Yeah, it's rank two. It's rank two armor. Much more defense, apparently. I need to kill five of the bastards and get berry leather and silk rope. I need a spinning wheel for that. How do you make clay? Weed stem. I don't know how to make clay though. So there's something of a bottleneck here because I don't know how to make clay. Like I could make the web fiber, but I need the spinning thing to do it. But I need clay for that. I know where to get tops and red ant parts, but I don't know where to get clay. I've not seen clay at all.
guess we will come back to this exercise in a moment. As now, now that I have lowered the difficulty to a level that is apparently somewhat sane for solo play, I'm going to go charging right back in to see if I can find a way into the fucking hedge. And probably still get killed very quickly. I'm ignoring the mites. I'm above them. Right, I still can't pause the game to check the map while I'm running. That's still not a thing you're allowed to do. Because we made our game for co-op. No, I didn't want to mark the location. I was trying to get a look at them. Asshole. Okay, well, that lost interest. Sure that would have killed me. me. If I was playing on the medium difficulty, that would have just immediately killed me. That's such a sharp difficulty. Like, that's how much damage it did to me. Like, not even a fifth of my health. The question, however, still remains unsolved. How the fuck do you get in there? Like, I think this is the place we're supposed to be at this point in the game. We need to get there. But, like, how? Watch out! That beetle looks like it's packing! Do you think it's reasonable to fight this thing at this point? Oh, there's a whole bunch of gnats. You better not come over here, Nat. The fuck? Okay, you're still not particularly reasonable to fight. Especially if you get tired. evading the big strike. Ow. Man. Hmm. No. No, this just isn't a fight worth taking even with, even on mild. You're late to the ground stream. Honestly, you haven't fucking missed much. Hydration is the key to performance. Eh. No. We've spent like two hours trying to figure out how the game is even supposed to be balanced. And I'm still really not sure what to do about this. Like, how do I go there? How do I ascend to this location? You are clay. That's something I can work with. I guess that's where you find clay. And a lot of it too, actually. Can you tame a bee to fly? Even if that's possible, how would you even begin to go about doing that?
we are here we are once more at this destination. Hey, you can't swim in this game. Become a fungus and mind control them. I guess? Okay, so mosquitoes are still kind of out of my league for fighting, even, like, with the difficulty set to a sane level. There's this, which we can't go in. It is locked. I thought this would have been the way in. It is not. But what is over here is a whole bunch of nasties. A whole bunch of nasties. Or no nasties, apparently. Hello? Has everyone gone? Bingo? System rebooting. I don't know what this does. Like, does this do something useful? Possibly. Might unlock the door. Would it? Are you saying that because you know, or is that a complete guess? No, don't bring a second one in, you fucking asshole. I don't see any reason to think it's a door unlocking mechanism, by the way. Fighting two at once is still quite difficult. And by quite difficult, I mean probably not worth the effort. Stamina. I think the poison's gonna kill me. Of cult, it does. And it seems to have been exclusively balanced around it, in fact. Fuck. No. And got him. I killed them both. And it took pretty much all of my health to do so. But I did kill them. A victory for me. I'm going to eat this. As it will heal me. I even get spider bits from that? Either way, I can't do anything with this. It says system rebooting. I'm not sure what that means. The game neglects to tell you. I won that fight and I don't feel like I even got anything from it. I got some web fiber, I guess. Push the glide button while in the air. Sorry, push the what? Oh, wait. Tab is? No. Tab is not the glide button. What is the glide button? Left shift. That's also the run button? Imifume. I went hotbar. It said equip. Dude, if. It said equip it to accessory slot and then press glide while in the air. 
My chat is suggesting things that suggest they have even less idea what's going on than I do. How do you get up here, though? Oh. A bee. Keeping time. Look at that bee. They're like the flying tigers of the yard. The bee seems to be having difficulty pathing. Like, how do you go? Like, how do you go to place? I don't know how to get in here. Like, this remains hopelessly locked. I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I remain unsure of what to even be, like, to do right now. The navigation of this game is horrible. I've spent the past two hours of gameplay trying and failing to figure out where the fuck I'm even meant to be going. Now I have a gliding implement and no idea how to use it because the game did not explain it properly. This sucks, dude. I was really looking forward to this game, but it's just not very good. <laughs> the keybinds in the options menu? That's not the problem. It told me what the button was. The problem is that it doesn't seem to do anything. Ah, oh, I guess you got to be high enough up. Yay. How goes the small punchy? Poorly, honestly. Mosquitoes are still basically impossible for me to fight even on this difficulty. So I'm just going to run away. You know, at least I'm going to try to run away. At some point I get a gun. I feel like I deserve a gun at this point, honestly. Yeah, I just- I cannot work out what to do, really. Survival guide? Does this help in any way? No, these are all things I basically understand. Like, I need to find a way through this wall, but like, where? Whence? There's another tooth thing that I can't get a hold of. Let's take a look. Yeah, I need to find a way around here, but I have just no clear way to accomplish that. Spiders can't go in water. That would be silly. The main thing that accomplishes is that I found clay, I guess. You know, that does help somewhat. 
Now that I'm no longer in danger of being three shot by everything I come across, the problem has now shifted from how do I go anywhere without getting instantly killed to how do I go somewhere. What the fuck? Why are there so many ants? You are in a lot of trouble, pal. Alright, well, have fun with that. I have more patience than you. Honestly, it's my patience is like fast bottom, bottoming out. As I just do not know what is expected of me at this stage. Shift things that attack me on sight to things that don't. There are about two things in the game that do not attack you on sight. <laughs> not just been like standing around the same location on purpose I just can't figure out how to like get anywhere else armor dummy weapon repair tool sounds you know vaguely useful and I feel like I've got a lot of points in level up kill gnat is still on my like quest log which I would love to do but again I can't get in range of any gnats if only I had a bow oh wait the bow crafting recipe takes the thing that you get from killing gnats <laughs> Oh, look, a spider. Oh, look, a tooth. Ah, can we get around that way? I see it lowering over there. Yeah, here I couldn't go through here before because when I tried to go through here, the mosquitoes fucking killed me instantly. You can throw the spear, but then you don't have spear. The thing about throwing a spear is that it's kind of a one-time deal. I'm the lantern in the yard to get to Nats. Which one? I have found at least three. <sighs> also, secondary question, how? With, like, with, by what means? <laughs> Verticality proves challenging. an example of a device that was clearly intended for multiplayer. This game in general does not feel like it was intended for a solo experience. And that's kind of disappointing. Because I don't see why it couldn't be. 
There's another tooth. I'd love to get those. Can't though. Need level 2 hammer. Don't know how to make one. Feel bad for enjoying me being annoyed. That's what I'm here for, I guess. I mean, I'm just disappointed more than anything, because it's like, fuck, I was actually rather looking forward to this game, but it's really letting me down. <laughs> With its kind of confusing navigation and just very slow pace past the first, like, 20 minutes. I feel like I've gotten nothing done in the last two hours of gameplay. Fucking serious! Come on! You wouldn't give that to me? This game sucks, dude. What are those? That's a bee. A resting bee. I ain't about to start shit with no bees. Tolerate DP2, but dislike this game. DP2, I at least know where to go and, like, how to accomplish my goal. This, I, this is all, this is, you know, this sandbox is very lovely. It's very lovingly rendered and all that. No fucking idea what to do in it, though. Yeah, I don't know. I still can't get around at all, and my best attempt got snuffed by the game deciding not to give me that ledge grab. Direction on where to go? I want a refund, I think. <laughs> hmm. I've, I've traced the entire perimeter of this and I cannot find any good way of getting up there. Pollen. Location better. They should have done a whole lot of things differently. Like maybe don't default the difficulty to medium when that's obviously unplayable in solo. Look, another tooth that I can't get because it needs a level two breaky thing, which I don't have and can't make. Don't don't have the recipe for two of these, so whatever these do, I don't know. Ch chalk under another thing that I have no idea how to satisfactorily access. What is this? Chewed gum. Neat. Nope, can't do anything with that. <laughs> Oops. Well, this kind of stinks. Flower discharge that bees go nuts over. Cool. Yeah. Oh, the bees mad at me about that. Why? I thought bees loved pollen. I thought that was the whole thing. Oh, 
that was a rock. I may have thrown a rock at the bee by accident. And the notorious uh, hoops uh, die. A super quit. Uh, yeah. That was lame. Shrug. I don't know what else to make of that, really. That was really disappointing. You, uh, you just kind of... I don't know. I couldn't figure out how to even play the game in three hours of gameplay. That's really fucking disappointing. It just does it doesn't indicate what to do. I couldn't figure out the navigation. It progressed really slowly. I'm really disappointed with that. That's tragic. That's that's such a tragedy given how much I was looking forward to that. But no, grounded is kind of bad. Can you still get a refund? I fucking hope so. Because, yeah, I'm going to be kind of annoyed if I can't get a refund for that, given what an absolute nothing burger that was. That's just, that's, like, I don't get it. That's just not playable. I couldn't, I couldn't play that, like, I was really trying to engage with the systems, but there's just nothing there. Like, I just, I can't figure it out. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on there, I'm sure, but fuck knows how to access any of it. I don't know. I'm actually really sad about that. I had so much higher expectations, but Grounded is kind of bad. Grounded is kind of bad. That's lame. That's really lame. That's really fucking lame. I don't see myself returning to that either, because like, I don't want to spend more hours trying to figure out how to even play the fucking game. I was excited for the stream, and then it just became a nothing burger, because they just sort of forgot to design a game past the first 30 minutes. Oops. That is very disappointing. I don't know what else to say. I, I, I don't even have the energy to do, like, a like funny stream outro. That was just really sad. It's really sad that that came out bad. I'm upset. Candidly, I am upset. Next stream plan? I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting to one and done that, because I wasn't expecting Grounded to be just basically unplayable. I'm gonna send you guys over to Maxi, then I'm gonna go fucking, I don't know, go to work, I guess.